I guess the definition of e-waste is always expanding because we're constantly getting new electronic toys and tools. At one point, the definition was anything with a cord, electric cord that you plugged in, uh, anything with a chip in it. What it refers to is everything from computers, uh, computer monitors, televisions, cell phones, um, MP3 players, um, uh, Xboxes and video games, anything that is an electronic product that has a circuit board, a semiconductor chip, um, and, and usually some kind of video display. It's illegal to throw away electronic products. It's just flat out illegal because they're so toxic. Because if you throw it away, um, it'll end up in a landfill and eventually that landfill will leak. And so we'll get the lead leaching out of the circuit boards in a computer and leaching back down into our groundwater. We really don't want that to happen. Unfortunately, what's happening a lot though, way too much, is that people think that they're recycling their computers, but in fact, they're getting them to recyclers who don't really recycle them in the U.S. What they do is they ship them into these big containers and they send them off to China or to India or to the Philippines or to other places in the world where there's very low cost labor, there's not environmental regulations that are being enforced and people are being paid pennies a day to disassemble these products and then reuse some of the materials in it but then discard a lot that they don't want. And that's extremely hazardous. It's dangerous for the people that are doing it, oftentimes their children. Um, and what's, what's the worst part of it is that in order to get to some of the metals which have some real value, they burn the plastics. And when you burn plastics that are in, in electronic products, you're creating dioxins, which are the most deadly compounds ever seen on the planet. There's really two paths that we could take um, in the future. There's the path that unfortunately a lot of companies are going down right now, which is to not take responsibility for their products or to make it difficult for consumers to return their products to the companies. The other path, the hopeful path, is that we'll pass laws in this country that will require companies to take back their, their goods um, and recycle them responsibly. Green Citizen is a company that dedicates itself to address the global e-waste crisis by making recycling convenient, accountable, and safe. This center is designed to be a first mile center where it's very close to your home, very close to your work, that you can come and recycle. Okay. Yeah. Simple as that. I'm bringing in about a three-year-old Apple computer. I wish I could keep it longer, but it just seems to be getting older and making trouble, so I had to go out and buy another one. Well, I'm really glad to support an operation like this. Uh, maybe if you folks uh, are successful, maybe there'll be other places uh, that will get the idea, idea too. It's nice to help out in a little way. When things are recycled, they sort of disappear. Nobody knows what happens to it. And that's what we're trying to stop. You know, at Green Citizen, when things are recycled here, we track them to the brand name zero ID of the device. We don't treat it as e-waste. We treat it as evidence of recycling. Evidence is priceless, but e-waste has no value. Once you have the evidence of the unit, then actually now we can figure out and supervise to make sure that piece of equipment is manufactured properly. Um, we usually ship out once or twice a week. Uh, what happens is we ship out maybe about 24 pallets of these bins, which is usually 27 monitors, or these Gaylord things right here, which is stacked high. For example, this one's keyboards, low value. We've got plastic separated out there, miscellaneous. We've got all sorts of different things. Uh, Silicon Valley Toxic Collusion, working with Basel Action Network uh, in Seattle, that actually they created a pledge of stewardships. What it means is that 
if you sign a pledge that you have to commit to uh, not committing exporting, not committing dumping, not committing and using prison labors, those are three elements that actually cause some harm in the environment. And uh, at the present time, there are 12 companies in the big state of California actually signed the pledges. You know, it's important to help people understand these problems so that people can do the right thing. I think people want to do the right thing if they just understand what the right thing is.